if you're on week five, unbelievable, right? We, we just started about four weeks ago. And when we started, I'm not even sure whether any of us thought that we would come up to this stage. And I'm saying this stage with a lot of anticipation because by now you should have, you, you should be in the evaluate stage of your UNHCG. And that is, I think, the magic of, uh, of any program where you progress from zero to, to seven or eight, we can call it now, because we almost, what, we have finished half our journey. So uh, I don't know how many of you uh, have said to yourself that you're going to be continuing this journey for a very long time. But from a purely recap point of view, you should now be in the evaluate stage of the UNSDG. I'm sure you, you're starting to starting to already think about what you're going to do with your solution. That's an important thing, right? It's not just in, important to bring out a solution. It's also important to find out what is it that we're going to do with our solution. Um, again, you know, because of, because of my constant, uh, constant what, um, encouraging people to be creative, be creative all the time, and my constant, uh, uh, what should I say, scolding of people who only simply say that creativity is only about ideas. Uh, I have to now uh, to, to request you to say, don't stop with the solution simply. Simply like that, you, you must be able to take your solution to the next level, right? Already think about things, where you're going to implement it. Implementation is key. Uh, <clears throat> many of us think that implementation is just doing something. It's not true. Even for implementation, you need, you need uh, creative thinking. Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm thinking of talking more about creativity in the in the last week of this lecture. I'll talk. I'll come back to implementation and the challenges of implementation and all that. So I guess you are in the evaluate stage. You must have gone through, uh, you know, the UNSCG, chosen the goal, chosen the uh, uh, chosen the defined question, and then go on to. Uh, biologize and discover and abstract and uh, and uh, evaluate and emulate and all that right so what we have learned is that there it is possible for us it is possible for us to go from no idea at all no solution at all to a stage where all of us are now saying what do we do with our solution and if you notice all you may have spent is about four or five hours in solving a world problem. And can you imagine the power? Can you imagine the power of collectively all of us, collectively all of us using biomimicry to solve a world problem? More than anything else, more than anything else, every one of us who have attempted to solve that problem, every one of us has gone to nature to teach us on how to solve that problem. Apart from nature telling us that she has got the strategies for almost every problem that we are looking at, there's one more very important thing, very important thing. Nature has also taught us on how to do the design of these solutions. When I say how to do the design, I'm talking about nature has, I think you must have, I must have already told you this, already nature has these design principles which she uses for designing anything that she makes and if we follow these design principles diligently then we can be absolutely certain that whatever we make is not going to be harmful to the environment so the evaluate stage you evaluate stage is to evaluate your solutions against these nature's principles. And that is what we are going to learn over the next two classes. There are 10 principles and we are going to be learning how to do evaluation against these 10 principles. And these 10 principles are not only important for, for, for evaluate, but also as a general view of life to understand how design happens and to to say that I'm going to follow these 10 principles because I want to be, I want to be uh, responsible for the environment. Let us see 
what these 10 principles are and learn them and learn, learn them with the same amount of commitment that we learned on how to go from problem to solution using the spider.